morning. Headed to uh, Clinton Lake this morning. It's October 3rd. Uh, tried Lake Shawnee yesterday. It was not very good. Uh, there was a really bad algae bloom. Like it has been pretty much every time I've tried to go there this year. Not sure if I'll be back up there this year, unfortunately. It's normally a really good cold water lake, but not when the visibility is cut down like it is because of that. So, don't know if I'll be back out there, but uh, I'll try to go out here. Uh, conditions look like they're going to be pretty good to hopefully get the uh, either the big smallmouth to bite or maybe the wipers and white bass to bite. So, Let's see if I can get get on uh, either one of those, maybe both. Who knows? Uh, I've been out here for a while, so we'll uh, we'll go see what we can do. Can't be a lot worse than yesterday. I caught fish yesterday, but it was just a grind for the few little fish I was catching, and that water was disgusting, so my boat's pretty gross from uh, all that scum on the surface, so. and we've got about 15 more minutes, and we'll be out there. I'll have to switch some baits around from what I was fishing with yesterday and we'll get at it and hopefully be catching some fish so we'll see you out there. Definitely not what I'm after. He did a number on my spinnerbait too. Shawnee yesterday at this rate. really wanted to get caught. He ate my spinnerbait. He came up and hit the net rig right as I lifted it out of the water. I poked him. But he still came back and got it a second time. I wasn't expecting him to get it the second time. Just a little 
fellas. There we go. Time to change batteries because that's like 10 feet. kept doing what I didn't know how to do. Giant, but my biggest one of the day so far. I don't know that uh, I ever moved it before that one grabbed it. that I just clanged my spinnerbait off of.
that was not the prettiest fish landing ever. My spinner bait had already seen better days. Oh man, you are just pooping all over the place. You scared me too, but that's unnecessary. You got the runs or something. Did you get a bad crawdad? Be a crappy good mess. Crappy. Did you get it all out yet? It's another one. Just real close to that other that one I just caught. Pop them under the same dock. This same dock that I don't normally fish. All right, another three and a half pounder. Not a big one, but I finally found a brown one. I want to take your picture, sir. Just so I can say I caught one. You hit it as hard as any of the bigger largemouth I caught today. See you. That size. As long as they don't poop all over. Which I mean, it's kind of too late for all that effort. What the largemouth had done to me. That's a white now. I thought that was going to be a bass. Large amount. I mean, these are over two pound whites. So those are big suckers.
appreciates that about you. Not a big one, but he's another one. and one eye to give him a bite. Just had to tell them they were on this. Alright, well, that went about as good as I could have asked, except I didn't find any wipers or big small mouth, but I caught a ton of fish. I'm going to have to cut a lot of fish out of the video or it's going to be two hours long, so try to get all of the uh, bigger fish and the better catches in there. Uh, pretty much just spinnerbait, half ounce white war eagle with gold blades, super complicated stuff. Um, banks with rock and wood were better than just plain rock, but yeah, it was a good time. Uh, I don't know what my biggest five bass would have been, probably close to 15 pounds, pretty good day for especially considering I don't fish it a whole lot. I tried for wipers and whites out off the bank on the uh, road bed or channel or whatever for a little over an hour. I might have hooked a fish. I'm not sure. It broke my line. My, my line broke too fast for me to really know. I don't know if it's zebra muscles or what. But I lost like six jigging wraps and quit. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, I'm guiding on Melbourne tomorrow. Probably maybe not sure I might not run the camera I don't think I probably will I usually don't because I'm too busy taking care of the people I'm guided to worry about running the camera so if not then uh, it'll be next week and I'm not sure where I'll 
gonna be if that's the case. So I guess uh, we'll see you when you when we see you. So until then, later.